According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, every day 10 people die from unintentional drowning. Well, Texas has long, hot summers, and most childhood drownings occur between May and August. And unfortunately, Texas is usually in the top five nationwide for child drownings. And because of the extreme heat, Texas is considered a very pool-friendly state. The town does have an ordinance that any time a pool or spa has any kind of water in it, you are required to maintain an adequate fence around that pool or spa. That also includes pedestrian gates that swing out, are self-closing, self-latching, and all other gates are to remain locked at all times, and whenever it's unoccupied are to remain locked. But according to the experts, the most successful pool safety practice is simply direct supervision. Direct supervision is the most successful way to hopefully prevent a child from drowning in a pool. A child can drown in as little as two minutes and the child can slip underwater without splashing, screaming, or struggling. And so it's important that at all times you have a visual on that child. Studies have shown that for, uh, formal swim lessons for children under the age of four can increase uh, their likelihood of surviving a near drowning experience by 88%. A child that can't swim, you should have them in a Coast Guard approved life jacket as opposed to wing tips and floaties and other float device toys. And it's imperative to always be prepared for an emergency. First of all, you need to have a responsible adult supervising the child. That adult needs to know how to swim. And then having a way to call for help and having someone that knows CPR on hand is important. And uh, to learn CPR, you can call the Flower Mound Fire Department or the American Red Cross. Remember, drowning is preventable. Take the time to educate yourself and your family to make sure your pool season is a safe one.